Good afternoon. My name is Dave Werzer. I'm a Managing Director of Investments, Connecticut Innovations. I wanted to spend a few minutes with you today talking a little bit about what the deployment plan that recently was enacted by the State of Connecticut Legislature means for Connecticut Innovations. How much funding has been carved out for venture investments under Connecticut Innovations new deployment plan? Well, that's an excellent question. The funding for Connecticut Innovations under the new employment plan is 25 million additional per year. The portion that relates to venture investments and venture funding is roughly half of that amount, of which about $3 million will be utilized for additional pre-seed investments and the remaining $12 million for venture investments both new investments and follow-on investments. Will CI be altering its investment criteria? Yes, under the new deployment plan, CI will alter its investment criteria. Our plan is to take more risk and to make investments in a broader number of technologies. Traditionally, we have looked at companies in the bioscience, in the IT and software areas, and in media and photonics and clean tech. We now will also look at investments in areas or companies that utilize technology or the enhancements of technology to promote their business and grow their business. How has the new funding and deployment plan impacted CI's interactions with co-investors or prospective co-investors? Certainly, having additional capital available for investment is very attractive to co-investors or potential investors in CI companies. One of the concerns in the past has been that Connecticut Innovations as a venture arm of the state of Connecticut could only participate at the earliest stages of a company's development. With the additional capital available to Connecticut Innovations, we can participate longer and we can be more attractive to another syndicate investor from outside the state to bring capital into the state of Connecticut. Tell me about CI's recruitment and relocation efforts under the deployment plan. CI is very focused on continuing to recruit companies from out of state, specifically startup technology companies that would be interested in establishing a presence in Connecticut and growing jobs in Connecticut. Our initiative in this area is loosely termed the next five taken from the state of Connecticut, our limited partners, first five approach towards growing jobs and retaining jobs in Connecticut. Our focus of this initiative is companies that for an investment of a million to two million dollars will move their headquarters and their employees to Connecticut and retain those employees in Connecticut and grow their businesses here. Does the new funding have any implications for CI's interactions with Yale and UConn or other universities? It's an excellent question. The new funding really gives us the opportunity to look more broadly again at technologies in general and specifically those that are being licensed from universities within the state. This funding allows us to look at earlier stage opportunities and as I mentioned Three million dollars of additional pre-seed funding will allow us to look at things that we might not otherwise have said we're ready for investment, but now we can per perhaps put some seed capital or pre-seed capital in to support Yale and UConn's efforts to spin up technologies. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you have the glasses for that. Okay. <laughs> uh, That's on camera. All right. Here we go. What is the investment environment like right now for entrepreneurs and investors? And is new funding under the deployment plan coming at a good time? The current investment environment for new companies, startup companies, and entrepreneurs is very challenging at the present time. Most venture firms, venture funds, no longer invest at the earliest stages of development for companies. Connecticut Innovations is in a position through the additional funding of the deployment plan to make early stage investments, to decrease the risk of investment for other venture firms, venture funds, and move companies further towards development and further towards alternative investment, other investments coming in from out of state and from venture funds.